Louisville, Kentucky, the protesters stood in a line across Jefferson Street, arms locked at the elbows. A year later, that moment still stands out to people fighting for reforms, a sign of the multiracial support to come. Through marches and rallies spanning Louisville since last May, white people have been present, calling for justice for Taylor and other black people killed at the hands of police. Their participation has helped strengthen the movement against systemic racism, many protesters of color say. And as America's attention inevitably shifts elsewhere, white people must keep pressure on those in power to make lasting change, they said. In interviews with The Courier Journal, which like USA Today is a part of the USA Today network, white residents across the north-central portion of Kentucky said uprisings over the deaths of Taylor and George Floyd in Minneapolis awoke them to the deep inequities black people face locally and nationally. One year later, Courier Journal reflects on the year since Breonna Taylor's death rattled the Louisville community and the nation, we have to put our money where our mouth is, said Lisa Steiner, a white retiree who attended the protests. We want people to be equal, but we don't let people talk, listen and empower them to lead the way. That change in attitude is important, longtime activists said, because white people are more likely to listen to others who look like them. In a county that's 71% white, more people speaking up could make a difference. However, activists and experts caution that white people cannot take over movements led by people of color and must instead listen to those experiencing oppression. Support is the best thing that white Americans who are sympathetic to these causes and would like to help can offer, said Stephen Moore, an assistant professor of government at Wesleyan University. Just be careful not to step on the agency of the people you're trying to help. Throughout America's history, white people have been involved in civil rights work both to the benefit and detriment of the movements. Moore, who has studied media coverage of protests, said white people's involvement in demonstrations can improve the way they're perceived. It shouldn't be that way, but it does lend legitimacy to the movement, he said. It goes back to classic civil rights strategies, like getting sympathetic images and getting the broader public on your side. And by broader public, I mean white people. And MLDR, there's reason to believe white people are reaching other white people and convincing them this is an issue. However, white people can also detract from racial justice movements when they attempt to take control. An 11-page paper, published in 1966, spelled out the fraught relationship between black and white protesters and advocated for a conscious change in the role of whites.